seven times, which means suicidal spirit, we grab you by the throat right now. You cannot have another believer. You cannot have another child of God. Satan, you thought you had me October the 15th, but I thank God that because of his power, I thank God because of his destiny. I thank God because of his anointing that what the enemy thought that was going to kill me has literally transformed me, yeah. has literally elevated me, has literally promoted me and allow me to stand in the face of the enemy right now and look you in the face, suicidal spirit. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. This woman right now that doesn't know where the next meal is coming from, from her children, that's feeling hopeless and saying that the children are going to be better without me. I bind the spirit of hopelessness and I thank you right now, God, that there's a peace better off. If I was gone, I bind that spirit of suicide right now. And I thank you, God, that you're releasing joy that's unspeakable to that young man. That young man right now that is dealing with a relationship, but he hadn't lived long enough to know that it's going to be another relationship right. and another relationship and another relationship. But he's attached his value to the fact that a girlfriend has said she doesn't want him anymore. I bind you now in the name of Jesus. This man that that's walking through midlife crisis right now and he's gone through a divorce and he's believing that he should just give up right now. Suicide or demon, we grab you by the throat right now. Hopelessness, you've been exposed right now. Depression, you've been exposed yeah. right now. I thank you, God, that every person that's viewing this all over the world, their lives will be changed forever because they know that they're not alone, God. You said we have a high priest that can be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. God, you said you you understand what being betrayed is like. You understand what being rejected is like. You understand what it's like to want to give up. You were in the Garden of Eden, in the Garden of Gethsemane, God, the place of crushing. You said, God, if there's any way, let this cup pass from me. You understand what it's like to want to give up. But I thank you right now that there's a nevertheless that's kicking in to every suicidal Woo! thought, every depressing demon. There's a nevertheless that's saying, not my will, but thy will be done. Spirit of the living God, I thank you that liberty now is being preached in this house that's causing them, it's coming to every device, it's coming to every home, it's coming to every office, it's coming to every car. And God, even as you told me and my wife that you've given us a liberated gospel for a bound people, I thank you, God, that we're calling them out the same way you allowed us to come out of it, the same way you allowed us to defeat depression, the same way you allowed us to defeat hopelessness. God, I thank you right now. You've given us a platform and we're snatching back every soul that the enemy thought that he had. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Listen, you're not alone. You're not on an island by yourself. Thank you, Lord. Because you've had dark thoughts. You're not in on an island by yourself because you made bad decisions. Some of it wasn't your decision. It's just life. That's right. The Bible says that the rain falls on the just and, and the unjust. unjust. Yes, Lord. We're all experiencing certain things right now, but you have to become intentional about where you decide to put your hope. Mm. Listen. I don't know who you are right now, and we're actually going to do a special broadcast and come back with the rest of the points this week. But I don't know who you are right now, and your level of hopelessness is connected to the fact that you're not even saved. My God. Listen, none of this means anything if you have not experienced.